On that note, Senator Lindsey Graham joins us now. He's a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, a former presidential candidate this year, and he just threw his support behind Senator Ted Cruz. Senator Graham, good morning. Good morning. Lots to talk to you about, yes, including politics, but let's start about with these terror attacks in Brussels. A, a lot of people just sit here and they think, what can you do? Is the, is the genie out of the bottle? Is there any way to contain this? Well, the goal is to destroy ISIL. President Obama has the right goal, but the strategy is not going to work. You need a ground component to supplement the air campaign. Policing Muslim communities, torturing people is not the answer. So we need a ground component. I'd form a regional army of Arab nations, would be part of that army, would go into Syria and take back the land that ISIL holds. You have to go on the ground and destroy them. But even if you did that tomorrow, you still have a situation in Brussels and in other Western European capitals, and God forbid, maybe even here, where you have people who are willing and inspired by ISIS. If you did that tomorrow, ISIL over time would become less effective. They'd lose their command and control. They'd have no safe havens to plan the attacks. There would be no place to go to in Syria. They would be seen as losers, not winners. It would take a while, but if you don't destroy them on the ground, this continues. Another 9-11 is coming here. It's being planned as I speak in Syria. The only way to interrupt the next attack on our homeland is to go in on the ground and hit these guys where they hit us. But a lot of people say, well, what happened in Brussels or what happened in Paris could happen in the United States. Maybe it's not being planned in Syria. Maybe it's being planned here in the United States. What do you do about a potential terror cell that's already here? Well, you want to have good intelligence, right? You want a good relationship with the Muslim community. Uh, this is a religious war. The worst possible thing for a political leader in the United States to do is say that we're going to ban all Muslims basically say that Islam is an enemy to the United States, we should do the opposite. We should say we see the difference between radical Islam and 99% of the Muslim faith and uh, have a better relationship. And the candidate you're supporting, Senator Ted Cruz, said again last night that we ought to police Muslim communities, uh, enhance surveillance, things like that. What do you say to that? Well, you know, at the, if it means we need to have a better policing relationship where we can share, gather intelligence from the Muslim community, that makes sense. If we're just going to surveil Muslims just because they're Muslims, that doesn't make sense. But Ted Cruz has not lumped all of them together. Donald Trump made the biggest mistake anybody could make in the war on terror declaring war on the faith because the only way you'll win the war against radical Islam, which is a war against the world, is to get people within the faith to partner with you. And there are plenty who reject radical Islam. We just need their help. We've found ourselves segueing into politics. And since we're on that subject, let me play a mashup of your greatest hits. So I'm going to play <laughs> Senator Graham. Take a look. My party is going back crazy. <laughs> if you kill Ted Cruz on the floor of the Senate and the trial was in the Senate, Nobody could convict you. <laughs> Senator Graham, you do have a way with words. Yeah, I'm Cut. probably not going to go to comedy either. No. <laughs> Cut to today, you're supporting Ted Cruz. How did this, how did this happen? It says a lot about Donald Trump, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> Donald Trump, I think, would be a disaster for our party. Ted Cruz is a reliable Republican conservative whom I have many differences with. I don't think Trump is Republican conservative. I think it'd be a disaster as commander in chief. I think Ted and I have more of a worldview than Mr. Trump. So I'm supporting Ted Cruz because I think he'd be competitive in the general election. Mr. Trump would destroy my party because uh, of who he is and the way he behaves. You've said you would rather lose this presidential election than make Donald Trump president. Does that mean if you go to the booth and it is Hillary and Trump, you'd vote for Hillary Clinton? You know, I'm not going to vote for Hillary Clinton under any circumstances because it would be a continuation of what I think is a failed presidency. The reason I say that, Willie, is because I think Mr. Trump is not a Republican conservative. His campaign is based on xenophobia, race baiting, religious bigotry, bringing out the worst in us. I think it would destroy my party for generations to come. We can afford to lose an election. We can't afford to lose the heart and soul of who we are. Before I let you go, what do you think about this later, latest Twitter dust up over candidates' wives? Can you believe we're talking when you about think that? It, well, it's a good year to be single. Uh, the bottom line <laughs> is when you think you got, can't get worse, hey, guys, knock it off. The world is falling apart. Man up. you got great wives and great families. Give me a vision, an alternative to winning this war different than Barack Obama. Give me a plan that would lead to the destruction of ISIL. Tell me how we're going to get out of debt. Talk about things that people really care about and knock this crap off because these are serious times and you're not behaving like you want to be president of the United States. You're behaving like you're on a reality TV show. Senator Graham, always good to have you here, Thank sir. You. Thank, Thank you, you so Senator. much. Good to see you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.